Hey everyone, welcome back to the Figure Pit channel. We're taking a look at the Hot Toys 1 6 scale Luke Skywalker from Star Wars Return of the Jedi. Nice packaging on this one, very in keeping with the rest of the Star Wars figures from Hot Toys. And here is the figure itself with all of the accessories. Comes with a fair bit of stuff. We have a really nice hooded cloak, lots of spare hands, two different lightsaber blades, one kind of swishing effect, one regular. The choice of material used for the hooded cloak was excellent. I wish they'd put this much thought into some of the Batman capes by Hot Toys, but this material for the hooded cloak was excellent. Got some batteries there for the light up feature with the lightsabers, a battle damaged hand, some really expressive hand poses here. Pretty much something for uh, any kind of pose you want to do with Luke Skywalker. I've got the handcuffs from when he's taken into custody by Vader. We've got the blaster. And we got the arm that the batteries go into for the light up feature. And pretty much a full array of goodies to use with the piece. Nice base with the optional diorama section on the back, which can be removed. And the boots looking pretty snazzy. Mostly black outfit. A bit of grey in there. Charcoal grey. Nice belt. Some weathering on the belt there. Left the protective wrapping around his neck to stop any staining. And a really good head sculpt with removable hair, if I remember correctly, so that you can kind of switch between the other versions of Luke that Hot Toys have made with different kind of hairstyles, like Windswept, I believe was the most recent one that I saw from Return of the Jedi look. Speaking of Return of the Jedi look, here he is in Jabba's palace, turned up to, uh, you know, deal out some, some swift Jedi justice and take back Han Solo, frozen in carbonite. But beautiful pose here, hands, head tilted down, and there is a wire around the the hood. It just looks really nice, and again, that material was an excellent choice by the folks at Hot Toys. And that's a pretty cool look for the figure. And so is this, hood down, hand out, bit of authority coming through here calm before the storm perhaps again check out the detail on the hair sculpt and the colouring, excellent work really good job on the face as well, skin is done just to a very high level an amazing job with the eyes as well some teeth showing all the details of the skin really good proportions all around on this piece from the original trilogy I do love those original free films. Let's measure him. See what he's coming in at. Right, so Luke is about, seems to be 11 and a half inches. Yeah, about 11 and a half inches tall. Not too bad. And now another look with the gloved hand, the hood up again, and the lightsaber, which, because of the light box, kind of turns a bit invisible but it is a green uh, saber but nice flow to the cape it's an excellent looking piece I mean if you've got Vader posed up beside this figure you've got yourself one hell of a display now here is Nick's figure on the left and the figure we've been looking at on the right so Nick's figure, um, I believe it has the DX Luke Skywalker head sculpt from the Empire Strikes Back. I'm pretty sure it's just a different head sculpt. Possibly some sideshow parts here and there. But he just wanted me to chuck it in here and just show you a little comparison between the two. So you've got Nick's on the left and the Hot Toys stock figure on the right. But I think the main thing there with Nick's one is just the Empire Strikes Back's DX uh, head sculpt. And then final pose for you. Looking a little bit surprised. <laughs> but as you can see, got some good movement in the ankles. So you can get yourself a nice balanced stance. And there he is. An excellent movie. The awesome original trilogy. I really do love that sculpt. All right, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. 
drop a like on it if you did don't forget to subscribe and check us out on instagram and come visit our store at www.thefigurepit.com